Here we go. Are we good? Should we start? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is John Riggs. I like to fix games. I've been doing it for, for a long, long time. And um, once upon a time, I was just like, I do this all the time. I, I should film this while I do this and to see. I have no technical background. I have no electronic engineering degree or anything like that. Um, I don't know how most of these circuit boards work. I just know what I do seems to work sometimes. Um, <laughs> and I just started filming it. And then, um, but the outreach was huge. It was like, it was almost like starting out as the throwaway videos on my channel as I was prepping for something else. But now it's like, that's what people uh, seem to respond to the most. So um, the organizers asked me if I could do this live. We got 45 minutes. And so we brought some games we're gonna check out. Um, again, my name is John Riggs. Thank you for being here, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Um, to my left, I have Ryan from Castle Mania Games. How you doing? Um, uh, if you're looking for these one-up carts I use all the time, in fact, here's what one looks like. Um, I, I swear by them, you don't need to use one-up carts. It's not an endorsement, but I think they're awesome. Um, Q-tips and rubbing alcohol work fine, too, but these are actually thin enough to, if you don't have a 3.8 uh, secure, uh, security bit, um, you can slide these in there, it'll fit just fine. So if you're looking for these, castlemediagames.com and Riggs 10 will save you 10% off of your sales. Um, and, uh, and then uh, at the end here, um, uh, my good friend Retro Robbie. You can check out Retro Robbie on YouTube as well. Um, he is a garage sailor, yard sale uh, thrifter. He finds boxes of games and like most people who go to yard sales and whatnot, um, he has to clean them up, fix them up so he can present them well in his collection or trade them off to uh, uptrade his games too. So I asked him to be part of this as well. So I thank you both for being here as well. And, um, and have you heard of the one-up card? Have you heard of this? Mm -hmm. most part, for the most part, mm -hmm. um, our friends at the one-up card company, um, Adam actually sent me a giant box of one-up cards. So I feel like Oprah Winfrey right now, but everybody in this room is getting a one-up card before you leave. Yeah. In fact, we have enough, so you'll probably get two of them. So yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll hand them out uh, after this is all over with. But this, this game here is actually Robbie's game. So I'm gonna see if we can't figure out now, I know you've done the one-up card by now, or you've done... Oh, we I have, opened it up. I, yeah, I know, uh, because that, that's just it, too. So... Well, the one-up card, actually, no. Have you tried the one-up card? Not no. Okay. Dude! I'll let you have the honor. Oh. <laughs> if this is all it takes... Now, looking at the screen, I kind of... I have, I have no idea what it is. But it's just one of those fluid side, dry sides. I mean, I don't have to open it up here. But I should open it up. But it fits right in there. I feel like one of those... Um, like I'm at a kiosk at a mall. <laughs> and it's one of those things, like, people ask, how much fluid do you, don't overthink it. You're just putting a little bit just to make the fluid side a little wet. Yeah. And there's a dry side also, and admittedly, I actually don't use the dry side too often. I feel like oh, really? the fluid side, yeah. am I supposed to? I don't know. I, I the fluid side, I figure, kind of gets into the pins, too, and cleans those, too. That so could be. We're going to see if this looks the same. You know, it's funny, it actually looks a little bit better, Robbie. Yeah, it's like that too sometimes. It, oh, I'll see. Okay. And that's going back to what it is. All right. So. It, it was missing a few lines of bad text. <laughs> now it's reading. All right. So these, most games have three screws. Sometimes they have five. If they have five, you can use like a jeweler screwdriver. If they have three, um, you, uh, you sell the bits for these at Castle Mini Games too, yeah, don't you? We do. Um, and, and usually even the five screws, you use the 3.8. Uh, but sometimes you do need this uh, jeweler's screwdriver, yeah. a smaller screwdriver to get into, especially things like 64 you're going to have to get into. Uh, right, because it has the protective uh, plating on the inside yeah. too. Um, if you're ever curious, that's what Mega Man looks like. They use up this whole piece of plastic, but then th that's all the game is. And I'm just looking, I mean, this looks really, really clean, and I didn't doubt that for a second. Um, however, now you said that it's missing a trace? It looks like, was it line 26? Line 26. Maybe it was 21. All right. And you, you can look on here. Like, if you ever look at a thing, as, you know, you can see the pins. It actually says, like, 5, 10, 15, 20. And it's one of those. Yeah, when I sent you that picture, you said it, it might need, like, a drop of solder or... I'm not too sure. Um, double check for me. Is it, it's the one... It's, double check that it's 26. Because the picture you took was, like, with a DSLR or something. And, my eyesight sucks. If that. <laughs> what do you think, Ryan? If so, we have solder. We have soldering iron. Look and see if Chris is here. Chris is here. Hi, Chris. Uh, Chris gifted me this awesome soldering iron, by the way. So big thanks to Chris for. Um, I finally figured out how to use it too. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> I tried to use it live once. I was like, live streaming, and I was like, I don't know how to turn down the volume. I mean, it's like it, it's maximum heat, and it started like burning this uh, circuit board. So I was like, I can't use this. All right, what do we got? Sorry about that. I look like a boss. And then we also have some other games up here. People have like gifted me games here at the convention. So while this is happening, um, you know, like you know, uh, Robbie's working on something down there. That's the, and if any of these, with the exception, this is Mega Man for Robbie. Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna give it to you. Sorry. But the other games that were gifted, if we get them working, we're gonna have them out in the audience too. So. Oh, cool. So hopefully, that's what I'm. Gonna, I'm crossing my fingers we get something working. Oh, I see it. Yep. All right, we're going to try a drop of solder. And I don't have my little, um, I usually have my little stack of boxes that I do this with, but it's all right. Try not to burn anything. Here's the eight box. Oh, that's even, that's way rickety. Yeah. All right, hold on here. I feel like that guy. I feel like the guy from like Toy Story when he's working on the thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so usually you wouldn't have to take this step. Most of the time it is just cleaning them, especially if you're going to use a new console like a uh, clone console. Those games have to be clean, super clean, ridiculously clean. And sometimes you even do a couple laps with these, and, and that solves it almost every time. Um, my steps for w before taking something uh, like this as your next step, typically I would, and with... with um, conservatively, you can use Brasso. And Brasso will clean and uh, it'll take care of what the one-up card maybe missed. Um, if you do that, you, you just a real conservative amount on a Q-tip, rub it, wipe it off with the other side, maybe go through a couple Q-tips, but then uh, after that, you're gonna wanna hit it again with the one-up card just to make sure there's no Brasso on there. Um, and then try it, and if that doesn't fix it, then you've gotta start doing board swaps or creating jumpers or you know different things like that, more extreme steps for games that are worthwhile for doing that. Um, Got a question there? How many, yeah. how many uses can you get out of one up card? You know, they advertise on their site, and it may even say on here, um, I, I feel like they say something like 50 games, something like that, but I can tell you I've pushed it way more than that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Until it looks just dingy enough and it's like holding on by a thread. Yeah. Um, but they're, replaceable. they're very replaceable, too. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's great about it, um, I mean, first of all, if you're going through a stack of games, uh, this will cut the time down by 80%, you know. Uh, but then you get games like this, and I know you guys probably can't see it. These screws are so rusty, I'd be weary about even trying to open this up um, <laughs> and then even getting it back together again. You know, you might have to use uh, replacement screws or something, because this is... This is not really, this is bad. <laughs> and so this gets right in there and, and takes care of it. Um, so that, that would be the kind of the order of operations for I think most game repairs. Of course, if you're gonna need to get in and do something like a battery replacement, you're, you're in there. You're the one up, <laughs> unfortunately can't replace a battery for you. Uh, but if only, it's coming soon. You didn't bring any wires, did you? You know, it's funny, the one thing I didn't bring no. A wire to jump from the pin to the thing. Um, and then putting a dab of solder on the thing. It's like the solder will stick to the, uh, the, the copper looking part of the pins. Uh -huh. um, solder will stick to that, but not to the green spot. Right. And that spot is um, it's not accepting, if you will, the solder. So but you would do that if the trace is broken. So it's yeah, and, and we're, pretty sure, we're pretty sure that's the reason. It's, it's the trace. It is on the... Um, Every, every Nintendo game is, this one, this one uses CHR RAM, so Mega Man's not the best example, but there's two, th both of these together are the game. One of them is uh, the CHR, which stands for character. This is basically the graphics. This is the PRG, that's the program, that's the game's programming. So you put the graphics with the game, with the programming of the game, you got a full game. Um, so if it looks like this, it plays fine. So we know it's not the program. It's gotta be the graphics. So you can narrow it down that far and I bet a wire would probably work, and I didn't bring any coated wire. Paperclip? Mm. Paperclip, not so much. <laughs> Coat hanger, maybe, you know. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this aside for now. Let's, okay. I wanna see if we can find a game here. 
I could do a board swap, but I bet that's I bet that's all it'll take. And a board swap is the I can't figure it out. I'm going to instead of throwing the game away, I'm going to try putting, you know, the the same chips on a new board that does work. And sometimes that's all it is. Here we have Kid Nikki. I don't know what's wrong with it. Let's find out. It may just work just fine. Sometimes they do. That's happened once or twice where it's like we don't know what's wrong with it, and it's like looks good to me. I don't know. Well, this doesn't look at me at all. So, uh, it's, it makes the most boring videos, but I'm telling you, if the one-up card works, that's all I want to do. Come on now. What's the fluid solution that's used for the one-up card? It is rubbing alcohol. Okay. It's straight up. Um, what they include, you can buy, like, what they gifted here are just the cards. Um, it does come with this, which is 99%. Um, yeah. You can use, I mean, and you can also buy it in the store. 91's yeah. um, okay. No, uh, I use 91. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it's diluted, you know. And this, I got this at Fred Meyer. It's 99%. Um, you go in the travel section of like the Target when you walk in, and you'll find those little dropper bottles like this. You can fill those up. That's, that's a good way to go. And then you just huh. cut like a buck uh, or two bucks or whatever. And now you've got quite a few games worth of solution. This one does not use the security bit. This uses the oh. screwdriver. I'm going to work on that. And oh, sure. Can, All right. Question in the Luigi hat. Uh, what do you got? Which one's that one? Uh, tournament so fighters. Ooh. Game doesn't work and you, oh, and I have something. You like the reusable alley before we get into it. Is it just better to use Yeah, absolutely. So when you blow in the game, um, that's a temporary fix. You're kind of, it works for whatever reason, right? Um, but it's also long-term damaging the uh, pins because you are, whether you realize it or not, no matter mm -hmm. how careful you are, you are projecting saliva. Yep. In Yay! The, and you are creating a, a more severe problem long-term. Mm -hmm. um, so, and that's, blowing on it, it's one of those mysteries. I don't, it, blowing dust around, I don't know that you're blowing so much that's stuck to the pins, but that's gotta be it, right? <laughs> um, but it works. Um, Sort of. That's a way to do it. Uh, well, that's what we had when we were growing up. Yeah, <laughs> and odd, oddly enough, Nobody it seemed to work sometimes. And, yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that. Um, this was mailed to me a couple of days ago, so I'm just going to do it like as if I was doing a video. And we got a letter, and the letter reads, and I follow, dear John, greetings. It's the first time I've corresponded with you by mail or anything. In five, you'll sign the Super Nintendo Classic, uh, Super Nintendo Classic, that doesn't work anymore. I hope you get it open. You'll see why. Um, I promise I didn't do this. I'm hoping that the chips are still in good. Maybe you can repurpose them or put it on a different board. Uh, the cartridge is in pretty neat condition. If you can make it working, um, gift it to happily someone at a convention. It'll make me very happy. Awesome. If you already own this game, you can keep it for yourself. I already own this game, so if I if I get it working, it'll be yours. Let's see if well, I'm just gonna pop it in first and foremost. Uh, and I bet it's, I doubt it's gonna work. Nothing. So. I'm gonna do my best, and it, like you said, it may just be, I guess there's something on the inside, and I can tell already around the nails there's rusting going on, so I don't know if it was submerged or not. Uh, the game itself is um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. <laughs> so if we can get it working. Oh, Turtles in Time. Yeah, and we have a Tournament Fighters over here, too. Wow. Oh, the no, no, no. Yeah. I, I just opened it up, I was just like, oh yeah. That one guy just sent me that to fix. So this, what I've opened up, this Kid Nicky, this is the one that John was just working on, yeah, what and there is nothing suspicious here uh -huh. at all. So I'll try the Brasso. Try the Brasso, just in case. Uh, yeah, if the one-up card doesn't do it, you can try the Brasso. Now this one looks, this one looks like it's been cleaned already. Um, but also there's like some pin deterioration on it. So like he was saying, maybe, and it looks like they've tried it before too. I may, I think I, I have, Replacement boards. Um, Super, and then, uh, Super Nintendo works differently where, even if it doesn't look exactly like this, the key to the Super Nintendo, there's an A or a J. So I have to make sure the replacement board is the same. So this is a game with an A. Most games are A, a couple of them have Js. Uh, the difference between A and J is high, lo uh, high ROM, low ROM, and the difference between that is I have no idea. <laughs> I just wanna, that's what I look out for, and it turns out, like, so here's, here's the TMNT turtle in time. Here's whatever we're going to kill. In fact, if we could say a quick prayer for whatever this game used to be, I'm sure it's some sports game. Let's have a look. 
Watch it not work. It's not working. Wait a minute. We can do this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Oh. It used to be. Oh, all right. So it used to be a super scope game. Um, some somebody gifted me all these old parts, and I didn't. Quite, I try not to destroy any games, but if you, if they're the ones destroying the games, and they gave me this stuff to fix, I'll do it. This is a desoldering iron. I have a soldering iron, desoldering iron. There's a little pin hole thing in there. I put it in there. Pull the trigger. The solder melts, gets sucked up into this, and I can dump this out. Um, they don't make these ones anymore, but they have plenty of soldering irons here. So I'm going to just remove the solder from these pins. Hopefully it'll work. I hope I can get at least one game working. Because when they were like, can you do it? I was like, can I? I don't know. <laughs> There's a good chance I might not. How are you doing, Robbie? Good? Oh, uh, yeah, you can try that Yoshi's Island if you want. Uh, sure, let me just finish See this how the one-up so. card treatment went. And this is also great, too. Like, if anybody, you know, you might find, you know, as is, broken, used for parts. Mm -hmm. Well, it may not be broken. It may just be a quick fix that they didn't even bother trying. Many times. It's like that. It's, and a lot of times it's worth, I mean, it's worth a gamble. Um, they do have, like... Desoldering bulb suckers too, which are fine. You can get them for like thirty bucks if you're gonna do, if you're gonna start doing stuff like this anyway. Um, and they work great. And I used one for about a full year before I realized, well, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna invest in one of these, which they run about two hundred or so. Um, but again, two hundred compared to you know how much I've saved in the long run from saving games and whatnot. I know it's not the most. I usually speed up this part of the video. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Helps when you have the crazy eyes, I guess. You have mixing records there? What are you doing, dude? <laughs> so what, what I'm doing the remix. is this is uh, five Q-tips in on this uh, Kid Nicky. But I'm probably a little more concerned than most about making sure I get the... Um, the Brasso off. And, right. you know, there's, people have different schools of thought on it. Um, the, uh, the idea is that it's going to wear away on the pins and uh, kind of, uh, you don't want to do it too many times because then you're degrading the pins. If that's true or not, I can't say for sure, but I just follow it because uh, better safe than sorry. Right. And um, we'll see if we got this thing working in a minute here. Well, think of like, think of Brasso as. Like when, when you resurface a CD, you're not resurfacing the CD, you're taking like a small layer off of it. Yeah. Um, so I've always heard the, oh, don't use Brasso, you know, so many times. It's like, I've, I've never had an issue ever, like ever, ever. Right. Um, that's, that's, but it's, there's still the, you know, there's always, there's the first time for everything. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I haven't had an issue with Brasso either. But sometimes you open up a game and the, uh, the pins do look very faded. I think John said this one was kind of degraded looking, and that's where you kind of question going the Brasso route. But if you've got to do it, you got to do it. Right. And it's that, or it doesn't work at all, and then it just right. sits there. And then you sell it for parts. Uh, um, have you guys the, the ever heard of? Pen. Have you ever heard of using Windex by chance? There's different. So some people. Uh, prefer Windex to isopropyl alcohol, and some people prefer the other way around. I'll, I'll tell you my theory on this, and I, I, again, I think this is all just stuff that we do, yeah. and we have strong opinions one way or the other. Um, the NES cleaning kit that you could buy from Nintendo, back when the Nintendo was still, you know, when they were printing those, um, they came with alcohol. So if that's what Nintendo used, that's what I use. Mm. That's that's my logic on the Windex versus alcohol thing. But Windex seems to work. Some people works. will use uh, racers, too. Oh, yeah, like those white erasers? Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I've never done that. And that works. Uh, so, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Did you ever try deoxid, like for cleaning pots? Like a, like a deox, like electrical deox? Um, no, I haven't used that. I guess it's a more 
rather expensive uh, solution. Yeah. <laughs> you just lie while you're at it. <laughs> uh, but it might, you know. Um, there are, I've never used it because I've never had access to some, but there are like thin, thin copper, copper rings, you know, that you can kind of like overlay with um, these and almost like rub off the rest of, oh, that thing's not working. There. Not that it's not working, but all right. Come on, kid Nikki. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Flick it up. What do you got? Dun, 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 dun. Boo. This is going exactly as I planned so far. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this. Okay, this is definitely. So at again. this at this point, um, if I was working on this, um, you throw a plate. No, I would uh, I would mail it to John. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> What's your address, John? Yeah. Okay. Hey, so far I haven't had much success myself, so. All right, so I'm. I removed the. The ch I removed the uh, the ROM of the game from and Super Nintendo game like Nintendo games have two chips for the most part. Super Nintendo games only have one, fortunately. So, and one thing um, to like the there board fits in one way or the other, so don't get worried about come on, flipping come on. it over the wrong way or anything come like on, that. Come on, buddy. What happened by now? Yeah, uh, yeah, because it's with that game. It's like the Nintendo Presents screen pops up immediately. You know, we could have faked it and just like, we fixed it, yay, thank you. But no, we're actually legitimately trying to make these games working again. Uh, so options on uh, Kid Nicky, um, the traces, everything looks good. I mean, you could try replacing a cap or something, but you know, sometimes... I don't know. Sometimes maybe it just gets corrupted and it doesn't work. Yeah, and yeah, um, and sometimes it is the game itself, and that's happened more than once. And but it's worth to try a few things first. You know, when it gets to the point where like I could just buy another one, I guess. Yeah. In a long black screen. So probably, this probably this probably one, from the same uh, source. This one's got water damage. Um, it's pretty obvious. The labels peeling. The back is uh, totally discolored, um, warped. And there's rust around the screws, so we've got some challenging uh, examples here. Um, what game is that? This one is Populous. And did anyone happen to bring any games that they wanted? Yeah, bring them on up. We can give them a. Oh them yeah, a sorry about. Yeah, if you happen to have anything, well. Yeah. Yeah, we got some time. We so. can do that kind of. Here, I'll work on those actually next. Perfect. Uh, those are kind of more of a priority here. Yeah, yeah, since you're here anyway. All right. So, there we go. Uh, oh, that's right. Thanks, buddy. Man, parlor with, for Super Famicom. We've got cool. Spelunker. Hey. And I think you like this one, Kung Fu Heroes. I love Kung Fu Heroes. Awesome. So let's uh, let's tackle Kung Fu Heroes first. All righty. Um, you. So one thing. We'll, Do we have anything to confirm. test? Yeah. Got an issue. Nothing. Do we have anything to test N64 games on? We, we don't. don't. But we're gonna oh. Clean it anyway. Yeah. And hopefully that's the case. <laughs> it's what they said. We're already here, you know. May as well. Oh. Oh. If you have epilepsy, I'm so sorry. Wow. Oh. All right. So that is Kung Fu Heroes. Legit <laughs> problem. Yeah. We'll give it a shot. Well, we'll try the one-up card. I think that's, like I said, the order of operations. Of course, you've already tried that. Yeah. But you never know. So, oh, um, I was using a, you don't have to do this. Um, I try not to use a screwdriver to sh shuck in underneath the chips because you might scratch the board and that's where all the traces are. To the pins, um, but I have there's they have EEPROM. These are called oh, the, the ROMs, uh, but they have a ROM remover. You just kind of go that in, you know, just chuck it in there. It, it it pops up. They have other EEPROM removers too. I just I I happened to grab that one first before I left. And what if I brought the other one? They have one that you just kind of little tweezer like you just pop to the side and stuff. Um, oh, yeah. And you want to be as safe as possible because this here is this this is all of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Just this little chip. So I need to put this on the other board. Um, so you don't want to break it off or anything like that, you know. Mm. 
Yeah. We've got some challenges here today. Nice. Thanks. Um, did you want to take questions while we do this, or? Yeah, if you have questions. If anybody I mean, has a question. It's unfortunately, I'm ahead. always looking down trying to get this stuff to work, but yeah. Yeah, go for it. How much is one up card? Uh, one up cards are at three for ten dollars, and uh, they're priced that they should be the same price no matter where you look. Um, of course, you know you can save when you guys shop with us, so that's all all fine and well. But if you have them locally, that's fine too. Yeah. We try to go more locally too. So, mm -hmm. but when I think a lot of game shops are starting to use them just because they are, you know, because so they work. Easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we haven't proved it yet. Okay. Be well, nice if we actually had a test. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You know. You know. Uh, man, this. So this one. Um, this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game is. This one looks. Uh, yeah, it's got. It's yeah. It's. It's not clean inside, so we'll oh. uh, check it out on the inside. And that might be a Brasso thing, maybe. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. All right. There's there's some kind of fine, fine. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll we'll take a look here. Huh. Yeah. So in, would you consider best practice to keep? So for instance, if John gets this Carol's and time to work, I don't think that game goes for fifty, sixty bucks. If you were to Fix it. Say I had had a turtle some time, but I fixed it and I wanted to sell it again, and I did that. Would it be, probably be best practice to disclose? Hey, I prepared this. Is this um, I I would appreciate it uh, because it's not it's not factory. You know, it's not factory fresh in a way, um, but it's also not a repro. You know, so it it's also depends to the extent to what you had to do. Now, if you just had to clean it, yeah. up, that's nothing to report. Yeah, but if I it's agree. like if it, if you're using a new board, yeah, if you're doing something like that where it's yeah. not original anymore, yeah, then yeah, that, that, would, that would be the yeah. right thing to and do. I'm, even still, though, you know, I'm, if I did it, like I might, um, I usually don't sell. I, I don't sell the stuff that I make, or you know, sell the stuff that I uh, fix. Um, but if I did. Um, I'd probably I'd take a few bucks off the top too, like I, you know, charge ten bucks less or something. But if I was fixing it, I'd probably fix it because I wanted to keep it. Any luck, dude? No. Dude. I know. Robbie. I'm sad. It's all right. The um, this is. We can give him a quick shout out. I don't mind. Um, it's coming out soon, from what I understand. They sent me one to review, and I was like, oh, perfect timing. I need to bring one anyway with HDMI. It's the old school classic with a Q HD that does Nintendo and Super Nintendo. And it has a HD, it has a component, um, and uh, yeah, and um, a few other like YouTube reviewer guys got one too. Um, I just haven't had a chance to check it out until I came here. I was like, oh, I'll just bring it here and put it to the test. Let's Oh, if it works, if I can get a game to work on it, sure. <laughs> yeah. Like, do we have a working game to just like see it working? Yeah, we'll get there. Um, yeah, as far as the old school, um, Sean Long reviewed it, RGT85, and he speaks highly of it. So, uh, one thing that he liked about it that I can confirm is uh, a lot of the clone consoles have this death grip on it where it's really biting onto your uh, cartridge. This does not. This is, you know, it's gripping it, but it's just the way that you would expect from like a, uh, an original console, so. <sighs> so we shall see here. Now I'm not going to use Brasso on this just yet. What this just this board was all together like covered and stuff. So I'm gonna just see if cleaning kind of up around where the traces meet and everything um, did anything. We should, we'll see. Because why not? Yeah. Let's find out. Yeah. All right. So same as, same as. Um, this may just be damaged, though. I think the the game itself is is not on here anymore. <laughs> but we shall try. So what does it look like? Was it like doused in something? Um, it. Uh, 
Yeah, it could be. It could be like soda or something like that. Is my guess. They're uh, using it as a coaster, man. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a question for you. Yeah. Um, I'm associated with the video game museum, but yeah. a lot of the newer games have gold contacts. Some of the very earlier ones had had uh, silver color contacts. Mm -hmm. So, is there any different process I would want to use for that, or all the same stuff? Because a lot of that early stuff just thin to begin with. Yeah. Right. Well, well, I don't know about Brasso, buddy. You don't have a lot of options yeah. is the thing. So it's kind of like what we were saying before. Um, even if it's not the best option, if it's the only option, you may be stuck with that. Now, I have seen, and I haven't done this, uh, but I have seen people uh, use something. I don't know exactly what it is. It's like a copper or a brass like foil that yeah. they could adhere to to sort of create a layer. I don't know how that process works. I've just, I've seen it. Um, and that might be something to look into if you were doing something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't, I can't really speak to it other than that I've uh, seen people, you know, posting about it and that kind of thing. So what were we working on there, John? This one here, um, I just did the board swap of Turtles in Time. This All right. couldn't even be open because of the rust. Yeah. Hmm. Dude. We'll get one. I know. Oh, I'm not done with this game yet. It's funny because the game looks, the game looks like in really good condition. You know, let me put it through the, uh, doesn't matter if it's in the shell or not, it really doesn't, but you can just put it in there. Hey. Got it. We got one. We got one. We got one. Turn the time. I can retire. I'm out. That's going to be a long and you so said what process was that? Did that, one um, that one I had to do the board swap. I, I found a working game. I found a working game. Unfortunately, sacrificed it. I said a prayer for it. And then um, I used the Turtles in Time ROM, removed that ROM, and put it on the new board. So there's, in fact, there was something wrong with the old board. Yeah, so it could have been a trace thing. It could have been, like, there's other chips on there too. But it's almost like, instead of replacing all these little bits in here and the other board I mean the pins themselves are pretty corroded now there is that like it's like a brass foil or like a copper foil that you can it's almost like you overlay it kind of rub in and it'll kind of you know fill in the fill in the blanks um, and I don't have any of that actually I just need to need to try that although I shouldn't say that out loud because Chris will probably gift it to me huh <laughs> he's like oh Chris do you have drills in time Chris yeah you do yeah. what's that Okay, I know. I was, I was going to offer it to you first. <laughs> How about um, some trivia? Trivia? Um, John Briggs has a standard answer for his favorite NES game. I know what the answer is. Does anyone else know what it is? I think I know it. But you were up first. Uh, yeah. That is not the correct answer. I want to be part of this yeah. if nobody gets it. <laughs> no, it is. It's, it's my most... Passionate game for sure is Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. <laughs> but there is a he has one in the chamber and, oh. and it may or may not be the exact answer. He qualifies that on occasion and goes, you know, I don't know if All this right. is, but I have a favorite game. What is it? Prodigy? Nope. We'll take one more and if it's if not, we'll go to default. Any guess? Battletoads? No. Not it. All right. We're go ahead, go ahead. Princess Tomato, we'll we'll call we'll call Princess Tomato good enough. Come on up, dude. <laughs> Is it Zelda 2? The, the answer was Zelda 2, Adventures of Link. Yeah. Uh, Zelda, Zelda 2 is my favorite game of all time. But Princess Tomato is the game that got me married, so I'll take it. All right. Um, oh, I feel good now. Hey, let's do this. All right, we have... Oh, we got checked out. Ha! There's the rest. You know what's funny? This... Okay, this was water... This, this was found in the Titanic. It's water damaged. Um, it's so rusted, it's actually heavier. 
because there's so much of a, I, w I wish we had like a camera or something, but there's so much of a corrosion buildup. Um, here's what, uh, there we go. Wow. Like this is proper, that's not so much. <laughs> so this is your game on crack, that's what happens, your teeth fall out. All right, should I, well you know what, I'm not gonna discard it like that. Oh, crackheads need love too. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, I got it right here. Yeah, that's true. That's your like, slogan. Yes, crackheads need love too. I know. There's like tetanus on here. <laughs> oh yeah, blow that to us. Thanks. Yeah, no, that's for you. That's a little souvenir for you, you know. Just trying to make it work. All right. You know, the rest of it actually doesn't look that bad. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens. There's a little glitch of something. Maybe. Possibly. What the dupe? Let's see what happens when we get started. I know. <laughs> a little bit more and more each time, huh? Uh, which game is this that you just handed me? Is this the, is this the Home populace? Alone. Home, al <laughs> Home Alone? After fixing Ninja Turtles? Home Alone, really? Well, it's... Two. Oh, two for the <laughs> that changes everything. Um, oh, it's it was somebody's favorite game of all time once upon a time. <laughs> I'm guessing. So I'm wondering, um, who in here doesn't own Turtles in Time? Yeah. Okay. Pretty much everyone. Notice he didn't raise his hand. My man, <laughs> he has it now. <laughs> You're gonna see on the convention floor here in a couple minutes too. <laughs> You can kind of, I just do that for convenience, but it doesn't seem very convenient. If this works, that'll be something. There we go. So, ooh, ah. Watch nobody raise their hand on this one because they don't have their tetanus shots up to date. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, and this game that looks like this, a one up card got the job done. Wow. So, what, what would you recommend to clean the actual board? The rest of it? Yeah. Um, like Q-tip, just okay. to get around the pin. I mean, the, the pins will also kind of pull the cotton part of it away. I mean, you yeah. can use a, you can use a one-up card for the rest of it, too. Yeah. Um, alcohol, though. In, yeah. In terms of the fluid, it would be alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Which cleans me, too, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Inside and out. <laughs> yeah, trust me, buddy. Good Lord. Um, Where's the other the Oh, here it is. The yeah, other screw kind right, of like, oh yeah, it kind my of just diminished in rust. Like, like, so okay. We'll give it a shot. We'll hope for the best. Yeah. So yeah, I, I just I don't think it's there Something anymore. Yet? I think I, I haven't yeah, looked at it yet. It's a garbled mess. It's not recognizable. Oh man. Oh well. That happens sometimes. All right, so Populous, did we... Chris, oh, do you have Home Alone too? Do you want it? <laughs> would, you like, would you like a copy of Home Alone too? Uh, who, who wants one? You go, come on, yeah, go, yeah, just go. Here. There we go, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was selling rigged boxes earlier. It's like, here's a bunch of games that I can't sell individually. Uh, what's left? Oh, we have, uh, we can do the Turtles Tournament Fighters. Yeah, why not? More Turtles, I'm okay with that. This, and what I'm doing right now as a, it may not be the best idea. Like, I like to just put it in there just to see what it looks like just in case. But as you know, if you go yard sailing, garage sailing, whatever, you probably just shouldn't, grow, I mean, you wouldn't go to Goodwill and then just like wear the t-shirt you bought at Goodwill out of the store. <laughs> you probably, <laughs> hey, trust me, I've done it once or twice when I needed something. Uh, you <laughs> that's what that smell was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Populous. All right, we're going with Populous. Here we go. Populous in a long time. I remember there's that level on Populous you can like have like statues of like Nintendos and stuff like that. <sighs> what do we got? Populous! Yay. We got Populous. I believe it. Whoa! Ooh. Mode 7! In your face! All right. Right on. So um, yeah, this one's uh, Label's not great, but it works, and it plays all the same, so. Oh, this this is one of those ones you talk about, the screw is so rusty, it's jammed in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
No, let me just try one up card first. Let me just, yeah, so as I was saying, just like you wouldn't wear a t-shirt on the way out, you should probably at least clean the pins before you put it in your system, because who knows what weird diseases you're putting into your system there. <laughs> be a sad game to lose. What do you got there? See, Yoshi's Island still. Is anyone looking for Populous? Yeah? Is anyone looking for free games? How about that? <laughs> you had your hand up first. Uh, it's like a strategy builder. What's up? At what point do you decide that it's not worth fixing anymore, whether it's like time or money or whatever? Oh, I usually just, I give, I give a few tries, and if it's not one of the traditional tries, I was like, well, I tried. <laughs> I, I I'm, I'm okay with letting games, games go. Are worth more effort, I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like like Mega Man, you want to save. You know, uh, like Turtles in Time, you want to save that really bad. Populous, I buy another. I mean, it'll, it's cheaper to buy another one than one, and, whatever. And also, too, the Mega Man showed signs of being able to be saved. Yes. Right. So, yeah, so I'm I'm sure a wire, and I'm so, oh, I'm have to use one of these bread ties because there's wire inside. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Robbie's game, man. I don't know. <laughs> I have a question. You guys can explain it. Okay. Um, that Mega Man works on a Retron Five for me. Can you can you guys explain why that would be? And that because well the to me that this is the worst answer possible. The only thing I can think of is a Retron Five dumps the ROM onto the system. It flashes it, and it, it plays off of that. That's how that's how it works. Um, it's kind of like when you have, like, you know, back in the day, if you had a broken DVD, well, the DVD might skip all the time, but make a copy of the DVD, and the copy DVD plays just fine. So I wonder if it's something along those lines. It's like it recognizes the memory and where it's coming from, but when you're playing it off of, like, you know, active hardware or something like that, um, okay. you know, this thing can turn it on here. All right. We got a copy of Spelunker from Spelunker? Fun Time Videos uh, with their phone number on the back, but. <laughs> Mom and pop shops. You know? We have a new challenger. Super goals and ghosts. I'll, I'll still look at that tur that tournament fire. I just want to pop this in for a second. And yeah, nothing. And this one, this one I have seen before. Like I've like I actually popped it in recently. It didn't work on this time, but it has played before. But the graphics were glitched, uh, much like that Mega Man was. Maybe not to that level though. What do you got? What do you got? Um, I didn't do anything to it yet. I'm just testing it. Oh, okay. Well, good. <laughs> well, okay, so that's what we get. So that's something we want to try for, you know. So it looks like... Uh, does it play? I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. <laughs> oh, I love this game. It's one. Of, if, you, if you cross your eyes, you'll see a 3D... Uh, no, this is not... It's, I don't think it's doing anything, dude. All right. We All Y'all give us some sort of like uh, kind of guidelines or maybe some tips to kind of when you first pop in to differentiate is it worth saving? Like what can you notice right off the gate to say? Like if I if I see that, I'm pretty sure I can get it working again. Um, it's probably just I, I would think it would just be the like uh, super Nin uh, regular Nintendo games are again like the CHR and the PRG. So when I see the characters glitchy, it might just be that character, the CHR ROM. But then when I hit start, it didn't actually play. So something like that, it might be a different chip in there. Uh, more complex games like Mario 3, they have multiple chips in there. Oh, hold on, dude, I'm gonna check this out. You wait your turn. <laughs> now this, hold on, now this, this, this has happened before. Um, and it's when it, I don't know, it's when it starts. Actually, if this is all it was, that'd be fine too. Um, it, it's when you start moving in animation. Oh, it's seven, I'm telling you. Here we go. It's when you start moving, that's when your limbs become disembodied. Uh, no, actually it works. All right, wow, hey. hey. Whatever. All right, yay, we got another one work. <laughs> what a good game. I'm going to take three guesses. Um, I don't know, we'll, 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 do it. we'll do a trivia thing. We'll do a contest thing here. Oh, to get the game? Mm. Oh, uh, hands up if you know it. Uh, how do you save 10% from CastlemaniaGames.com? Oh, there you go. Yes? Um, you, put, you put in like something like discount code. What is the discount code? There it's 10. There it's 10. There we go. Here you go, buddy. That's yours. Thanks, man. All right. Nothing still, huh? Man, you've been... Yeah. 
could be something else. We could, we could try a pork swap. We got how much time do we have? What time is it? Oh, you got you got something. Oh, you got the so five. We're over. It's 4:45 right now. Oh, and we're here till 4:45. All right. Well, well. You know, I know, huh? <laughs> oh, and we got populace too. Oh, yeah, we still have a populace here. Yes? Oh. You want populace? Yes, please. Oh, yeah, yeah come on up. <laughs> that's, that's what I was waiting for. I was going to see if people want to raise it. I didn't ask you to raise your hand, but I was like, all right, sure. It's not the most sought after game ever, but you know. It works. It's not. I'm trying to fix that, yeah. Yeah, oh, so really? Awesome. Also, that he, was like, he was like, can you do that? Well, I got to, I'm going to send it back to him if I get it working. Um, and then the one you want to clean that we can't. Are, well, are you putting it together or are you putting yeah, it back on? Because I didn't know if we had time to do anything. But, uh, All right. Oh, no, that's fine. I was, I was asking which way you're going with that yes. on the screwdriver. So, yes. um, but th this is our minute. Th that's our, usually someone comes in saying five minutes, but they're shopping or something probably. <laughs> um, thank you for being here. This is completely awesome. I thank you for showing up. Yeah. And... I'm going to tear down in a moment, and if you want a one-up card, uh, comment up uh, before you leave.